it said that navik is going to become available to the public uh, by uh, 2018 and this is a very interesting news because uh, everybody is looking forward to being able to use navik are the industries picking up the technology there is a two uses of the navigation system one is that the security air travel and important installation requirement who are not for the, not a price conscious industry so for them the navig receivers are there you pay 50000 you get a good navig receiver both l and s band but an another side of the uh, business is navigation business is by common people you know you want to locate your aunt's house uh, today this uh, chips which are coming on mobile they are gps and all so we have an advantage because our signals are coming vertically from stationary reference so in a crowded place and a narrow lens our gps is going to work yes. and the, our navic is going to work better than gps yes. if you use both l and s band we have a three sigma error better than 5 meters it is a this is a as a potential compared to a 20 meter accuracy gps which is actually supplemented by the gps information this map but uh, today gps itself can our navig can give you all the those uh, gps plus gps combined accuracy so that accuracy not only in city you can get in a very rural heartland market will look for a chip maybe get a chip development industry is not there so we thought we will do our own chip in fact uh, i am happy to share with you we have already built a chip of a 32 channel ins receiver this chip is now being tested so by end of this year we will able to assure a chip availability a chip blueprint but a market penetration will start slowly once people see the benefit it will explode on this but then do you see that uh, this will ultimately supersede uh, gagan gagan limit is up to 250 meter height okay so you so see... we have to go to below super uh, but th- there are some people who also are proposing to use the gagan on the ground also because they say that if you have the gagan type yes yes we are using gagan for all ground survey we use gagan i see no but uh, you see that uh, aeroplane technology you know there is the landing is involved yeah life is in board so they are very conservative so they conservatively cleared because if you say 1 meter they will take it as a 5 meter and then give the certificate okay so therefore we see gagan navic all operating in their own spheres but in cooperation okay. uh, yes presently in cooperation but uh, you know if one technology progresses then another technology has to die over time like we are sharing our uh, satellite communication technology with south asia for example you know the mm. south asia satellite so are we thinking of uh, extending that kind of service uh, with navik also actually navik covers almost southeast asia part of significant part of china indian ocean and uh, uh, almost up to israel so its coverage is large now the signal is freely available it's a market dominant because even from gps it actually gps was developed in the uh, vietnam war war time to today when it became available to people it took almost uh, 40 years i i we must know that the uh, technology high technology to penetration to daily life it takes some time and we have to be patient because uh, uh, it's a business nobody will see it ground so it is always the better product prevails and better technology cheaper technology prevails so once our businessmen bring out to that level it will succeed